large distributed organisations. The front line is out there in a number of regions. Mm. How do you get around them and how do you engage with those front line workers? Um, my practice has been to run open forum discussions, go straight to the front line mm. uh, and work with them directly in open forum discussions. So, you know, whiteboard me, uh, all of them, no managers, could be a hundred people. Uh, and we talk about what they want to talk about. Mm -hmm. It's their agenda, they mm -hmm. control the agenda. You know, there's a huge power imbalance. I'm the chief executive, they're frontline workers. So what I try and do is address the power imbalance, make them feel as powerful as they can, give them as much control as I can in the situation, uh, and have open and honest discussions with them. Um, address their questions. If you don't know the answer, say so. Be honest, be upfront, open, and you know, it's as much about what you about how you are as what you say. Mm. Mm. Yep. So they're all sitting there looking at me. They're going, "Who is this person? Can I trust him? Do I believe in him? Uh, does he get it? Does he understand my world? Is he listening? Will I follow him?" Well, I always say uh, communication is the oxygen of leadership. So if you want to lead and you want to lead large groups of people, you've got to get really good at communication, and nothing beats upfront, face-to-face -face communication. So in my uh, open forum discussions, we will always talk about what they want to talk about, but someone will always say, what's the plan, what's the plot, what's, you know, what's the vision, yeah. how, how are things, yeah. yeah. And that's a chance for me to talk about that. Uh, and what I try and do is paint a visual picture. You know, so I walk up, you know, I walk back and forth, I use my hands a lot, you know, I try and paint a visual picture of what their world in our organisation will look like in five years' time. Mm -hmm. How will their jobs be? How will they be working? Mm -hmm. How will they be interacting with customers? You know, what will it feel like from their perspective? Uh, and it's interactive, you know, and they get to question that, challenge that. And, and it's like building a story. Yeah, we work on it together. Uh, storytelling is a very, very good thing to do. You can waste a lot of time talking about the stuff in the abstract. Mm. Most people are practical people. Mm. You know, use examples, tell stories. Um, I was talking, you know, I was talking with you the other day about this. Here's a really good example of that in practice, and here's why.